There is no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. Beautiful Walking Dead fans, Crow Eagle at War here today, and today's episode is all about the latest episode. It was a wild ride, and it was crazy. Now, a few things to cover before the video begins. My biggest thing is, what the hell did Simon and Gregory kind of, you know, Simon slipped them that, that nice old slip of paper? I bet you it said, fuck you. I don't know, I just have a theory. You know, Simon seems like that type of guy. Um... We all know him as Trevor from GTA, and that dude is awesome. Uh, Stephen Oak, or Og, I'm sorry, Stephen Og, you know, he was on The Talking Dead, and I thought that was really cool, but anyways, I think that paper said, fuck you, and we'll go on with our business. All right, so if you're tuning in for the first time, I'm growing like war, as I said before, and we talk about everything down to the T, well, try to at least, just a few little synops synopsis of the previous episode from The Walking Dead. I try to get it every Monday, but um, I was busy last night. Sorry, guys, and I will be back on it. Um, and continuing on, I do have plans for doing The Preacher. I'm going to go over a few things later on because season is coming up. If you missed Preacher Season 1, definitely go check it out on AMC or go buy the DVD Blu-ray set. It is awesome. And continuing on. Okay, so we had the biggest thing. Sorry about my chair. It's a little squeaky. But anyways... We had Jesus confronting Maggie about being gay. Now, he kind of slipped it in there, talking about he can't get close to a lot of people because, you know, that's just how the apocalypse kind of turned him. He was afraid, and especially getting closer to boyfriends previously. And that's what slipped it out. Yeah, he's gay. If you didn't read the comics, yeah, you're kind of lost. That was already been there, done that. But not a big deal, especially for the show, because... The show doesn't focus on relationships, really, except for, like, Rick and Michonne. I, I swear, that's about it. And Sasha and Rosita, a touching moment between those two, and we kind of get a final verdict of what their plans are. And then we have Daryl telling Maggie that it was his fault for killing Glenn. But we all kind of caught it in the beginning of the season, and definitely, you know he feels that kind of resentment towards that. But Maggie doesn't see it like that. She's a stronger person, and she knows for sure that he was not at fault and right at the end we had a dark figure right there he kind of looked like Daryl with the crossbow but guys I have a feeling it's Dwight and we all know that Daryl was looking for them but it is too soon unless he hopped onto his damn bike and went stupid following them but that is another story and I think it's Dwight that was standing right there right behind Rosita right when Sasha, spoiler alert, went in by herself. And that's pretty much all of the episode that made it decent to watch. It was another filler episode, and I felt like we have just been led on this whole season. Jesus, this is the worst season I've ever seen. I think season two had a little bit more um, clarity of, hey, this is a boring season. We're looking for a child. But, yeah, season two sucked, but I don't know. This one at least has a little bit more, I guess you'd say. But, yeah, this is right next to season two. This has been a shit season. I'm ready for it to be over with. I'm ready for season eight. That's when all the action comes in. But that's pretty much it. I think that episode is in a nutshell. Everything's all out. Uh, there's a lot more that you missed, I'm sure, but not enough to talk about the detail. I mean, it went slow, and then it started dragging ass, and then here comes the saviors, and they're like, oh god, oh god, you know, everybody's there, but man, I'm done with Walking Dead. I feel like I should just walk away and not ever watch it again, but, you know, I'm gonna watch it regardless. I love the show, but man, I wish AMC would get their ass together. And that's pretty much it. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I am Crow Eagle at War, and I will see you in the next podcast. Peace out. Thank you.